A little while ago, I was going through and checking some parts, and I, I just wanted to get a rough estimate of how big certain parts were, holes, etc., etc. So I was going in and doing my due diligence with the measure tool, right? You have your standard uh, measure between, then you have your measure item, etc., etc. And then I, I looked down the ribbon a little ways, and I see this little magical button called the ruler and it displays and manipulates 2D or 3D area coordinate axes. So I click on it and I get this wonderful little display. This little ruler appears on my screen. At the origin of the ruler I got a little block. I can grab that and drop it anywhere I want. So if I wanted to get an idea of how let's say big this circle is, right, I can come in, snap it, and oh, okay that's roughly there's five six seven eight wow i can count lines imagine that an engineer i can count so i just just looking at this i get an idea of how big that is now if i zoom up on it you'll notice i get more of those demarcations the more i zoom up on it the more of those demarcations that i get and i can get into the uh literally the quantum field with uh with that ruler which is kind of nice so it's just a question of how close you're zoomed up on it, and that's it. So if I want to move this, let's say I want to figure out how wide this opening is. I can come over here and snap it to that opening. Oh, okay, that's 50 millimeters wide. All right, I get a, a nice right, rough estimate. And again, if I zoom in on that opening, all I'm doing is getting a far more accurate read. So it is pretty much 50 millimeters wide. So if I really want to be accurate, I can true up the view, and zoom and zoom and zoom, until I am counting hairs on the back of a net. Okay, so it's, it's really, really nice. Now, as I hovered over the top of it, I realized, well, it's got a 3D area coordinate axis as well. Well, how do I access the 3D or what are the, where are the settings for that? So I looked in the tree for this and I really don't see it anywhere in the tree. So then it hit me, well, maybe if I right mouse click on this origin. So by right mouse clicking on the origin, I can go into what's called 3D mode, all right? Now, 3D mode does something a little different. So if I true this up, You'll notice over here, this is 80 millimeters. It's no longer 50 millimeters. And what it's doing is it's measuring, if I bring this all the way over to here, it's measuring from the actual true origin or absolute of the part. So from the absolute of the part over to here, it's 80. Now, if I grab this and I move it and I go over here and say, okay, I want this to go over there. So from the origin of part, that is where this is. Look, this is 80 millimeters away from that origin. So that's your 3D measurement, okay? Uh, I can grab this and, and move it up, down, whatever. And because it's in the 3D measurement mode, you'll note that it is always referencing back to the absolute of the part. Now, if I orient it different from the side view, same thing. I get those measurements from that origin, okay? So this is really, really nice. Big fan of this tool. So this is roughly 80 millimeters tall. If I grant, come over here and I move this over to there, okay, this is, this is off of my origin, minus 20, roughly 22, 23 millimeters in to that point. And I am up roughly 60, 62 millimeters because now I'm measuring off of origin. So I know how tall that is off of that point. Now, if I right mouse click on it again and I say edit, I can come in and enter in the location that I want. I can also select my position and it automatically fills that information in for me. Okay, the numerals along the XY don't change, again, because they're set off of the absolute of the part. Now, if that's not what I want, I'll just hit okay. I can right mouse click on this again, go to 2D mode. And then now in 2D mode, this is where I can go, oh, okay, from, 
well, from the bottom here on up, this is roughly 24 millimeters tall, okay? So that's the difference between the 2D mode and 3D mode. 2D mode is that instantaneous off of that point measurement to wherever I'm at, whereas the 3D mode is the, the measurement all the way here I am pointing, all the way back at absolute 0, 0, 0. So you have both measurement options. Now, I love it, but now I'm done with the tool. I don't want to see it anymore, and I've done something crazy like gone into another ribbon or another uh, another tab in the ribbon. And what I don't want to do is I don't want to go all the way back into tools, and I don't want to have to click on it to turn it off. So what you can do is, and this is really smart, right mouse click over the top of it and just go to delete, and it removes it. If you want to reapply it, this is where you go in, pick it, and boom, it's back to where it was when you deleted it. Simple, absolutely wonderful tool. It has saved me in a, a new, an infinite amount of time. I can't put a number on it because I do a lot of checking, right? I'm, I'm validating parts and verifying what's going on, not just for production, but I also teach 3D experience and I gotta validate what my students are doing. And this just makes everything go by really, really quick. So very good job, very happy with this tool.